You're watching Money Talk Viewpoint, and I'm Chantel Leeson. Thank you for joining us today. You know, the one of the unique factors about all businesses that they have in common, successful businesses know how to connect to the right people with the right message at the right time. What we do at Money Talk Viewpoint is introduce you to an audience so that we hope to get you in that right niche where you're meeting the right people. And we're on, since we're on as in what they call an evergreens platform, you can, they will pick up on you in the middle of the night. We hope we get the right person for you at the right time. So my special guest today is Don Spafford. You know, you're looking at quality. I think the good investors want, and I say all investors, the good investors who have a large sum of money, like family offices and foundations or endowments. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm on the school board and the people like that that look to invest they want to make sure that they feel comfortable that their money's not going to be subject to a lot of corporate, I mean, not a lot of uh, economic volatility. They want to feel that something's yes. going to work for them and having the integrity of a company that has their heart at, they're, they're thinking of the person as a, an investor, you have their, their, their best interest at, at, at hand. And I think that's a very, right. a, a very important part of what we do as any, any area of the industry whether you're in the investment area, the financial advisor board, in particularly in real estate, where a lot of people don't know how it works. So I, I love what you're telling us. Let me ask, how can someone invest in Beyond Our Holdings? Well, so if we're, I guess, we, I guess it goes, goes across for, for uh, retail investors or, um, you know, family office, anybody as well. But uh, we, we, of course, have an investor platform that we go through through Invest Next, <clears throat> where people can sign up for to get access to our portal. Um, but they can use any resources. Pretty much, we we accept you know uh, retirement funds or uh, you know anything else really. Pretty much, you know. So we got cash, uh, you know, solo four hundred one ks or self directed IRAs. Um, you know, just about anything that uh, people are able to invest, they could use uh, to invest with us. Um, per per deal, of course, we have minimum requirements. Um, I'd say average for for retail investor, we're looking at like fifty thousand. Typically, it's a minimum. Sometimes a hundred thousand. All depends on the, the the deal or the situation. Um, we tend to create different share classes, though. So, for example, for uh, you know fund managers or or uh, you know family offices that look to deploy you know millions, uh, we will have a, a different share class structure where they will get better returns overall than the uh, you know the lower class like C shares uh, at those at those minimum levels. Obviously, that's to entice those higher investment amounts. Who is your preferred investor? Well, we definitely prefer to work with uh, your your high net worth investors that again have a, a large sum of money to deploy, um, as well as again family offices, private equity groups uh, that can pull together or have again uh, millions to invest is is uh, the ideal situation. You know, it's much easier when we have to do a you know a ten or twenty million dollar raise to get that in just a few checks versus. You know, trying to get uh, hundreds of, of individual investors at you know hundred thousand each. Um, so, so yeah, the, the the high net worth and uh, again those those uh, private equity groups are exactly who we are targeting. Do you have any current investment opportunities for investors at this point? At this moment, right now, we do not. Uh, we did have a a fund we had opened all of twenty twenty three. Uh, this year in twenty twenty four, we are going back to uh, raising for individual properties. Uh, we have quite a few that are in our pipeline. We, we're always, you know, we, we have no problem in, in deal flow. So we have great leads that are coming up uh, at this moment right now. Today, we do not have one that's open for investment just yet, but we still want to talk to those that are interested to get on our on our list when they do have those those opportunities do come up. They can be made aware uh, and uh, be ready to move. Of course, we before we would even open up to retail investors, we would, would bring it to our, uh, again, your, your family office, private equity groups first, in case they sometimes they want to be the, the sole investor and they say we want to fully fund it right so we present to them first before we'd even take it to our retail investors um but yeah we have quite a few that are in the pipeline and we even have plans this year to do some new development so so essentially building from the ground up a new campground as well that's kind of on our on our in our plans and horizon as we continue to grow right we got to be ahead of the curve as there are more people getting into this niche as well because of the great returns we can offer uh and so uh, as as eventually the competition will definitely increase we need to be ahead of that curve as well. Just be, you know, building our own and not even worrying about uh, trying to compete with others as well. So that's kind of on the horizon as well. And those, of course, that will require most likely a larger amount of money to uh, to make that happen. Uh, but I'd be happy to talk to anybody about that as well. And those will likely have a, a longer hold period as well because it will take, of course, uh, some more time to get it built up and and uh, and cash flowing well. But but uh, but yeah. So we we've got a lot that's in, in the works for this year. You know, Don, you, you covered a lot of information. I like what I'm hearing. I, I'm sure the other investors are going to want to hear more about it. How can they reach out to you? Yeah, thank you. 
Um, well, first of all, feel free to email me at don at beyondercamp.com. Uh, you can also find me on LinkedIn. I'm very active on LinkedIn. I post just about daily. Uh, I'm happy to, and, and I, I respond to all messages and contacts come to me directly. It's not going through uh, you know, a, a VA or anybody else. It's, it's me you'll be talking with. Um, you can, uh, of course, go through our, our website, uh, beyondercamp.com, and uh, you know, send a, a message there to, uh, to contact us there. Uh, we are currently still um, rebuilding or recreating our investor website. Now, the Beyonder Camp is our kind of our main website where you can go to and make reservations at our campgrounds as well. You can see our properties. Um, beyonderholdings.com is kind of our, our sister company to Beyonder Camp. Um, which uh, we are rebranding or re rebuilding that website at the moment. But at some point down the road, that will be up as well uh, to, to reach us from there. I want to thank you for being with us as a guest speaker today. I want to thank our audience for tuning in to us. Don, I want you to come back in the future because I, one is not enough. People will look for yeah. you and you know will want to hear more about this as it progresses along. I want to thank everyone that's on our call today and watching our show today. And if you want to reach out to me, I'm Chantel Lee's Money Talk Viewpoint. If you are a financial professional and you service accredited investors with high net worth clients, family offices, or endowments, reach out to us. Our goal is to help educate our clientele so they know what they're investing their money in. Again, I'm Sean Telly from Money Talk. You point our guest speaker today was Don Spafford of Beyonder Holdings. Don, thank you so much. Thank you.